Hi. I moved into my old house and um, I just wanted to make a video to show some of the things that I'm running into because I know a lot of people are looking at older homes including very old houses and um, I just wanted to show some of the things that you can encounter. Uh, this is my master bedroom and uh, it's pretty scary. <laughs> I tore out the old carpet which was really old and nasty probably from the 1970s and uh, <laughs> that's how I feel about it now but I'm going to fix it. I've been tearing out the uh, backing on the floor using this scraper from Bully Tools and it really worked great. It was a, a complete back saver <clears throat> because as I mentioned before I'm not young and I didn't really want to take on a project like this. Um, I actually have rheumatoid arthritis and um, I have a chair that I use um, when I need it to go to the doctor. Uh, if I have to sit for a long time at least I can put my feet up and uh, if I'm not feeling good and I'm shopping I can take it with me but uh, most of the time I'm fine. But um, this floor um, there are more than one problem with it. Uh, it's a very old fur floor, F-I-R fur, and uh, it's not in too bad a shape actually, but at one time they probably had linoleum on this floor and you can see some of the backing on the linoleum that's still there and uh, the problem is it's uh, put on with this heavy glue called mastic and uh, it's this black tarry stuff that you can see right there and uh, when it, it's wet you can scrape it off uh, pretty well although it's, it's tedious it's a lot of work but um, you never want to sand it on an old floor like this because a long long time ago they used this stuff called cutback, C-U-T-B-A-C-K. And um, what cutback is, is it's the old black mastic glue mixed with asbestos. And you can't sand it because you will end up with asbestos flying around your house for quite a long time and you can get mesothelemia from it which means that you have asbestos in your body that you can't get rid of. It's very dangerous. So thank goodness I looked this up online before I sanded it because I was actually very seriously thinking about renting a sander and I'm so glad I didn't. But um, this is going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a while before I can get to my fish room. And uh, meanwhile, we ran into a leaky water pipe, and I'm not really sure where it was. We had a really bad freeze last winter, and it might be coming from the bathroom. Um, this is the bathroom. Um, last winter, we had some freezing and uh, we had a deep freeze up here in Washington State and uh, I had water running in all the faucets but I did not have water running in the bathtub and it froze. I was without water for three days um, which was no fun at all and uh, the, even the drain line froze so it took a while for the water to get back on and then I put a heater in the bathroom um, it did have a, a ceiling heater, but I wasn't sure if I trusted that to leave it on all night because it's quite old. Um, probably from the it could be from the 1950s or 60s or 70s. It looks very old to me. I, I've seen them before. 
So I didn't want to leave that running all night and we got a freeze and um, this is the only access in my little hall closet and there is a little space underneath here. It doesn't look big enough for a human being to even get in there but I talked to a plumber and they think that they can get down there but um, they actually may have to go through my master bedroom closet floor and make um, a big cut in the floor and make a um, access that way and um, what I want to do is have a um, cutoff valve installed either in the house or right outside the house because there is no water shut off for this house except way out by the street where the public utilities shuts it off so that's not good that's another thing you can encounter with these old houses so I will be back to talk about the water situation and uh, it's going to take me uh, a while to get this floor done so it's going to be a while before I can even start on my fish room which is my main hobby and my main concern so if you'll bear with me <laughs> come back and see another video as we move along thank you for watching today and thank you for the new subscribers and thank you for the old subscribers sticking with me